You know what? You guys know what? How about one more? How about one more? I love you, man's laughter. No homo. I could from you don't have to say no homo. Wait, like, loving another man doesn't make you homosexual. Uh, and nobody thinks you are. Nobody thinks you're homo. And even if they do think, who cares what they think? I don't. I don't care. I have a bro. His name's Isono, and I love that man. I love him so much. I traveled all the way to Taiwan for him. It says you're playing Rogue. I kill you forever. It says that because this game is actually not in the uh, database. It's not in the Twitch database. One Way Heroics is... It's too damn indie. It's too damn indie. It's not in the in the, the database. But it's a Rogue-like, and so I thought Rogue was the closest game... I could choose for what I'm playing. And it would hopefully bring in the people that want to see rogue likes. Because, you know. Am I leaving? No, not yet. We're going to play one more round. I'm going to play one more glorious round here. You know, I've never actually looked at this extras. What is this? Replays. Well, I guess I did look at this because there's not really much in there. So let's check our perks. This perk rewards you increased vitality and stamina, 30 day money back guarantee, plus. 30 max life at start of game. And you can, you can pile them on, which is really cool. You can pile on those. So, am I leaving? Oh, by the way, Omega Swords, if you mean am I leaving for Taiwan, the answer is yes, but not till January. No need to worry about losing the house keys because you can get in with just a piece of wire. You are able to open difficult chests with no difficulty. Yeah, let's do that. I kind of want this plus 30 vitality and stamina. To be honest with you, I don't know if it's, if it's good in the long run, but I'm going to take it anyway. I'm also going to add to my strength and my vit. My class, I'm going to change it to type C pirate. Look at this. It's like a... What is that, like an alligator man? I don't even know what that is. I don't know what it is, but I like it. It's very cool. Peter, a man isn't homosexual, loving a man. Loving, loving a man isn't homosexual, loving on a man is. There you go. There you go. Um, why is my... Man, just I'm, I'm cold. I'm putting on a fleece blanket over my legs. Just cause. Just cause. I gave my gay friend a hug and he got a semi. I whispered in his ear, we'll take care of that later, and walked away like a boss. Uh, or like a tease. Hands laughter. Or like a tease. Oh yeah. Let's uh, let's get this shit started here. We're still gonna be looter, cause why the hell not? I like my new perks. I am going to pick a new world. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna random new. There we go. Generating world. Generate that world, game. Generate that world hard. Perfect. Uh, thanks for the potted plant, and let's grab this thing. And let's go over here. Open up the dimension vault. And I definitely want... I've got the Battle Axe. It's at 18 damage. So I don't want that. I want the Training Bracelet and the Treasure Map. And I want to equip the Training Bracelet right away. Which lowers my stats, but... Makes me feel good about myself. Holy shit. Um, wow. That was so great. That was so amazing. I did so well. And I lost 2.60 <laughs> points. Oh, I guess you get zero. You don't actually lose any. You just get zero. Uh, that was really bad, is what that was. So fuck all of that. Uh, screw the training bracelet. It is too op for me. And I'm going to go right back into that same world and not fuck it up this time. Because, wow. I got owned by the... But look, I thought we were the weakest, like, enemies in all the land. 
I guess that training bracelet really reduces your stats or something, because hot diggity damn. I'm not getting shit from the uh, dimensional portal this time. Yeah, see, this time we're doing fine. We're killing in one shot. Oh, fire breathing. What's it? It's uh, not too fan. Oh, there you go. Much easier this time. Perfect. Love it. Absolutely love it. Wish I had uh, remembered to uh, back up the treasure chest the second time. I just realized I forgot to back up the treasure chest. Or the treasure map, I should say. I pulled it, but I didn't put it back in. Not a huge deal, though. Nothing of absolute value was lost. Feral dog, you scrubby man. There you, go. you scrubby non-man. You scrubby man's best friend. Perfect. Uh, let's grab this. An eight-pound sword. So I don't think I've ever seen a sword that heavy. Which makes me think that is a brand new item. And I look forward to being able to identify it once I find an identification scroll. I almost went up there and screwed myself over. So let's just go up and down this area until I can find something of interest. Oh, what's that? Clothes. I'll take some clothes. Why am I so close to being overweight? Hmm. It's because my weapon is so damn heavy and this new sword is so damn heavy too. I bet that sword is actually an axe. I bet it's not a sword at all. And I bet it's that axe. Hey, camping soldier. Grab these items in the box while depending on you. I'll take your shit. Um, I'm going to read this scroll of analysis and find out what I have in my... The Grand Blade! A sword taller than most people. It's two of his most traveled use, so accuracy is reduced by 5%. Uh, equip that shit. And see this battle axe? Actually, see this little vest? I'm going to equip that too. Traveler's clothes. Boom. I just hit that guy with the shit, and uh, I think that's the same shit I took out of his box. I don't know what it does. It lets me, uh, am, it lets me identify all the shit. Thanks for mentioning that. I got it. Only Pepsi product I like is Diet Vanilla Pepsi. That's odd. I wanted to shout, oh my god, look for the blood of her pants. To laugh as all girls in the period to really. Ha 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 ha. I get it. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. There we go. Take that last scrub. Come up here. Grab this heavy armor. Pick that shit up. And then. I'm just gonna put it on. Fuck it all. I'm just gonna put that shit on. I'm gonna throw that. Throw it on the ground. Oh, both those things on the ground. By the way, why does this dimension have a green star? I wonder if that's like a difficulty rating of some kind in this game. Bam! Let's just keep on exploring here. Key! The bat gave me 10% experience. 16%? Those bats are like... Super heavy experience, bro. I sense a holy item somewhere. I sense a giant wall in front of my face. I'm going to be in trouble if this is not a straight path through. It looks like it is a straight path through. So. Eat the uh, delicious energy food. Go. I'm glad I was at the top of the map when this area came through. Wouldn't be able to scale through the mountains when it game over. Uh, first off, what the fuck just happened there? Where'd all these scrub level guys come from? Bandits. Get fucked on, random bandits. Um, let's take my battle axe and throw that shit on the ground. Key! Bye, Let's not get going too low here. Although... 
Oh, that's why the axe is much better, because the axe lets you cut through these walls, no problem. Although I don't mind sitting here and leveling up off these scrubs. Oh, shit. Um... Another weapon? A lance! I will take the lance. Uh, come on, hit the door. There we go. I like this pirate. I think the pirate is, is baller. I wish I knew how to join the Dark Brotherhood. It says he can enter the Dark Brotherhood. I don't know how to do that. Also, I don't know what to get for doing that, which is another concern. Let's lockpick this shit. Oh, come on. Money, money, money! Money! Reach the 100 kilometer mark. I am not making progress fast enough. I'm noticing that. It is taking me way too damn long to get there. So we're at 100 and something, so we get the little message that the Demon King is coming. He's a coming. Someone get the napkins. Someone get the tissues. Demon King is coming. Uh oh, there we go. We're just fine. We're gonna be just fine. Oh yeah, I gotta perform the Black Sacrament. You're right. Oh shit, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, can I go down? Okay, good. I'm glad I didn't overinvest in that and then get trapped in the mountain. Yeah, let's pick that shit up. Oh, shit. Turn at the guy before you swing your sword, you salty pirate scrub. Saltier than the seven seas. Is this like Bat World? All you fight in this world are bats and birds. Because it's Bat World. I was a little nervous about that music, so I had to leave. that shit up. Generating world. It is bad country. You're not wrong. Let's jump over this mountain. Once. Uh, twice! There we go. Jump that mountain. Eat the fruit. Give me all of the deliciousness. Put it in my mouth. That's what you gotta do. Why am I not equipping this uh, shield. It exists. It's in my inventory. Why did I not put that shit on? We've arrived at the forest. Gotta love the random name generation in this game. They're not even trying for words. They're not even trying for words. They're like, random letters, that's good enough. It's random. People like random things, we'll go with that. By the way, did I mention this game is only two freaking dollars? Because if I have not mentioned that, I should mention that now. Did I mention it's on green light and you should give it a thumbs up? Because, uh, I'm mentioning that right now, too. Hey, you, goddess. Please increase my carrying capacity, because my guy is a lazy son bitch. He can't carry shit. Oh, what's that? Pick that shit up. Healing herb. Is it healing herb? Or, oh, what the fuck is this guy? Punch him with a bash. Pause time. Pause time again. Wow, that guy, I thought I, thought I was boned. I got a little quiet because I was like, better focus. What did he give me? Quality Wheatstone and Crystal of the Ancients. Let's use that, that quality stone. I heard that stone pretty damn quality. I'm just saying. I heard. I heard some things about the quality of that stone. The second part of The Hobbit was alright if you've never read the book, so dilly dally. Don't watch it. 
I, uh, I was gonna go and see that with the person I was spending a lot of time with these days. But she had, uh, she had not seen the first part, and she's like a adamant believer that you have to see the first part before you can see the second part of anything. So she did not want to go see it because she had not seen the first. She bumped me a little bit. Uh oh. Feel sneeze coming on. And I got the mic muted just in time. Good times. Good times. It's the little victories in life, right? It's the little victories in life that make it worth going day to day. Uh, something just broke. My armor just broke. Well, let's put on some leather armor. Some leather pants! That's some more leather armor. I'ma pick that shit up too. Hey, thank you, Am. Area map. Uh, yes, please. I'm gonna use that once I get through all of this. Would you wolves quit doing whatever you're doing? That guy's got a big arrow on top of his head. Makes me think he's probably like a baller. Goddess of Time, Chrono, save your progress! No, I didn't save my progress! It's a roguelike. Ain't nobody got time for saving. You got time to save in a roguelike? I think not. I think not. There we go. I was a little worried. Demon Lord is halfway! Tell him to take the shaft and push it in all the rest of the way. He's a demon lord. He should know what's going on. He should know how to do this. I should not have to teach the demon lord. I just kill all the scrubs. Get all the experience. Plus seven, plus seven, plus six, plus seven, plus 116. Plus all the experience. Give it to me. Give me the whole damn thing. Grab that. Pick that shit up, too. And then I need to eat some. I need to eat something that'll give me some NRJ. Actually, let's eat the map. Let's eat the herb. There we go. Just come right on down her. Hey, you random town scrubs. Sure, I will record my progress even though I have no idea what the fuck it does. Cause I'm never gonna load that shit up. Never gonna do it. I'm so tired. Eat food. Eat the stamina herb and quit your bitching. You're always hungry, man. You're always hungry. Quality wheat stone. Wet stone, I guess it be. Weapon has improved. I probably should not have done that because my weapon is about to break. In fact, my weapon's about to break. I need to find a new weapon. Um. Are you a merchant that can sell me stuff? You can sell me medicine. I don't want your freaking medicine, Red Riding Hood. Here we go. Arms dealer. You are not dealing in arms, you arms dealing lying scrub. Weapon dealer. There we go. Eagle blade. Accuracy and critical hit chance increases. What? That axe. I'm gonna sell the weapon that's about to break. I'm gonna sell the lands too. I'm gonna sell the ancient stone. And then no. But I will buy this. It's weighs eight. It weighs freaking eight. Do I really want to waste that much money? I do. Complete my transaction. Put on a brand new Eagle Blade. I want the hearty meal. Mmm, mmm, mm, mm, so good. So good. That meal is tight. Oh, there's a weapon. Grab that. Actually, don't grab that. I've already got a better sword. Hopefully. Yeah, it's a good sword. And that did not too bad. And not too bad. Smack that guy around. A little bit. So, gotta say, absolutely enjoying the hell out of this game. I just spent like 30 bucks this week on games. And this was a $2 game that I picked up today. 
and I've been spending quite a lot of time. Have you even heard the music in this? Let me just shut my face hole a little bit so you guys can listen to this glorious music. I still play Dark Souls. I have not played Dark Souls in a couple weeks. I haven't, like, stopped playing it because there's something wrong with it or anything. I just, uh... I'm playing other games. When I played Dark Souls pretty heavily, I'm dead tired if I don't eat soon. I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm so hungry! Eat some herbs. There we go. You're gonna be just fine. Eat all the herbs. Uh... But when I was playing Dark Souls, I actually put off a lot of games, and I missed a lot of games because I was doing Dark Souls, like, exclusively. And so I'm kind of catching up on games. Dark Souls is still on my radar. It's still installed. I just haven't been playing it because I've been catching up on other games. At some point, though, I'll go back to it. And plus, Dark Souls 2 comes out in a couple months. And you know that's going to be like a take a week off of work and do nothing but play Dark Souls kind of game. Let's, uh, increase my weight limit a little bit. Make it easier for me. That's a lazy man's, uh, level up. I just don't have to do with inventory management. Knight's Coat. I will pick that up. Scroll of Confusion. Confused. I need to eat more stuff, but I don't want to waste my healing stuff. For Skyrim, Dark, or Fallout, Dark Souls, the Nexus Mod Manager is so good. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. That Nexus Mod website is just amazing. Absolutely amazing is what it is. It's another golem. This guy almost fucked my shit up last time. I'm gonna actually use my teleport pill. Can I get that? No, I can't get that before. Because I don't want to deal with that golem. He gave me amazing rewards last time. That being said, I also used up a bunch of my limited resources. So I'm going to use up another limited resource here, too. Perfect. Leveled up. And I will take the bow and the money. I'll take both of those things. Remember the Jade Forest group? My duty is to track down criminals who hunt and danger animals. Be careful not to kill any foxes, otters, horses, rabbits, or goats. You haven't been hunting, right? I don't expect the same chance from this. I kind of want to kill this guy. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit him with a big stone. And I'm going to immediately regret that based on how much damage I took. Now, you know what? I don't regret it. Um, I'm going to use the area map. I'm also going to eat some of these healing herbs, just because I need the energy and the HP regen. I think that's like a best of both worlds type of uh, situation there. Leather armor, I will take that, why not? I'll take that. Key of seals, wait a sec, what's that? Huh, well I'm going to definitely save that shit. Unless there's, like, a place I can use it. Oh, shit! Don't do that, you random scrub that set me on fire and is hurting me quite a bit. Oh, man, I should have gone through the bottom. Yeah. Oh, well.
My guy is dead tired. Eat the scorchy bulbs, sir. Single file, single file. Man's laughter. I wish I was a girl. I have a reason why. Multiple orgasms, so no five minute breaks from sex. I would be such a slut. Man's laughter. Uh, that's very, um, it's not very forward thinking. Right? Girls have a lot of problems, you know. A week out of every month, they're out of commission. Um, multiple orgasm thing, I mean, how often are you having sex in your life? Like, 0.0001% or less of your life is spent having sex? Or in a position where sex is even an option? So. Might sound good on paper until you actually start to think it through. Also, the punishment for having unprotected sex is much greater for women because if they get pregnant, they have to deal with that. And uh, men, you know, there's very little risk, of, there's no risk of them getting pregnant. And there's, you know, if that happens, it's easier for a man to get away from the responsibility. So, there are lots of uh, concerns that women have to take into consideration. They can't just have sex all the time. No matter how slutty you may wish you were as a woman, it simply wouldn't make any sense. This guy. These guys gave me flack last time, but this time it looks like no problem. I must have better armor or something. Or a higher level. There we go. And there we go. really well. That worked out so much better than I thought it would. Those ruin your body, man's laughter. Uh, they, you know, one or two, no big deal, but the more you take, the long-term health effects of multiple... Oh, we just hit 400 kilometers. It's the farthest we've ever been. Oh, by the way, no form of birth control is 100% uh, effective. Just, just, I don't know if, if you got to that point. Uh, formal education, but nothing's ever 100% guaranteed. The Demon Lord finally arrives! Can you hear me, Looter? People who have been encouraged by your actions are gathering! We try and hold out for an hour so reinforcements can arrive. Two party members, enemies are next. If enemies are next to them, they will attack automatically. Oh, nice! Demon Lord, you are going down! Oh, my goodness! Whoa! Bash that son of a bitch! Bash that some bitch! Bash that some bitch! Chug the vial of healing. I'm gonna kill the demon lord! Shit, there are the bandits over there, goddammit. <laughs> bandits, we are fighting the lord of all demons! Get the fuck out of here! Bandits caused me to lose this fight. There we go. Oh, yes! The people watched the hero's battle with the demon lord, and they understood the meaning of true courage. All eyes turned to the hero. 
the soldiers who had been cowering in fear, the mercenaries who had already given up the fight, the elderly veterans, and even the inexperienced. They all sensed Luder's potential and gathered round. As Luder traveled across the land, he dealt blow after blow to the demon lord. The demon lord was greatly wounded, but even still held a satisfied smile. Now is the decisive moment, foolish hero. Impudent humans, if you cannot defeat me, there is no future for you. The demon lord focused every last ounce of power into a final attack. Luder also called upon the last bit of strength for one final blow. Their blows collided in a blinding whirlwind of light. Everyone held their breaths and bore witness to the final confrontation. When the dust settled, only one left standing was the hero Luder! The hero was enveloped in a thunderous applause. Humanity emerged victorious from this most dire of trials. While his master banished, the darkness stopped its terrible advance. The world was saved from being engulfed by the darkness. Luder could no longer hold back fatigue and collapsed on the spot. It was not because of an injury from the final battle, but because the hero had been walking for days without rest. The hero just wanted that long overdue shut eye. Once awakened, there is sure to be another adventure waiting. Please, until that time, allow this hero their much-deserved rest. Huzzah! We did it! So that was not that hard, mind you, that was on the easy mode. But that was not bad. And that is a damn shame, because I just opened up this boot, thinking that we were going to be back this for a while longer. So there you go. That is, uh, I guess that is one ending to One Way Heroics. $2 indie game developed by a Japanese developer named Wolf who made the entire engine for this game. The Wolf RPG Editor. His name is Smoking Wolf and he made uh, he made this game. I guess he didn't make it alone because there's a bunch of other people in this uh, in these credits. But I guess he's the, he's the lead developer of it. It was mostly uh, a project of his. Japanese man game was then picked up and translated, available for $2 right now on Playism. Definitely worth the two bucks. That much is certain. At least it's certain to me. Good art. A fun game. Good, uh, good gimmick. Now, it is like a gimmick RPG. A gimmick roguelike. So, it's definitely not worth a you know, 30 or 10, even maybe not even a $10 entry price. But you know what? It's two bucks. It's two bucks. Spend more than $2 on coffee. So, big fan. You showed up just in time, Itty Bitty KV. You missed all the fun. Brrr. So, my cat showed up right here at the end. As is often the case. For all those who shared their opinions to me through Twitter or read my development blog, and most of all the people on the other side of the screen, hey! Thank you for playing! Thank you for making the game! Thank you for making the game. A game like this? Definitely worth it. Don't worry, check it out. Absolutely. So let's uh, press any button to continue. Let's uh, press the any button. The fuck is the any button? I am Winrar. Love that first one. I am Winrar. That was dangerous. Well, I cleared that easily enough. Guess I had some lucky drops. I'm just that good. It was all thanks to my trusty Eagle Blade. My leather armor protected me well. All thanks to my misplaced equipment. A spirit saved me zero times. Boing, boing. Cleared without using the vault. Conquered Demon Lord... Like a boss. Like a boss. Pirate class is the best class. I think we want... Conquer Demon Lord like a boss. 
you are the first conqueror of dimension T G O A K Q E X. So that's interesting. The game actually has an online component, and it pulled down that no one else has beaten this world or this uh, this seed. Mind you, with what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters in the seed gives you a lot of possibilities. Eight times what? Thirty-six. Because there can be numbers in the seed and letters. So there you go. A A B B Pirate Pro A plus G G no Re defeated the Demon Lord plus twenty points. Start the game with four bonus perks plus one. A fair fight defeated the Demon Lord without using the Dimensional Vault plus fifteen. Warrior of Absolute Victory. 42% of enemies without taking damage. Frugal saver level 5. Cleared game with less than 5 saves. I saved it one time. Earned a heroic level 50 plus with a pirate. Nice. Looter, you should play Ammo 1602. It's an oldie island building game. Really? I think I've heard of that. I, think, I don't know if I have it, but I think I've heard of it. The question clothes were the spirit robe, the lance was the slender spear, the other clothes were the traveler's clothes, the leather armor was the leather vest, knight's cloak, knight's coat was knight's coat, and hunter's bow was hunter's bow. Eagle blade was eagle blade, leather armor was... I was carrying on a lot of shit. So playing the game during this playthrough, items removed from the dimensional vault have been recorded. Cool. Awesome. So these two, I actually got them back. Even though I've lost them, I get them back, which is really neat. I could put the pretty gem in there. I could put the. I'm gonna put the key of seals in there. These things, I don't know. The demon lord's coat, A mysterious coat worn by the demon lord. It has defense instead of chain, but much lighter. Thirty percent fire nullification. Neat. Might want that. Not sure. Uh, don't care about that. This one sells for five times its value. Because it's an expensive one. Destructible. Item destruction plus 60%. So th this item's about to break. I made it out pretty lucky. This item was what? Oh no, it's not about to break. My bad. It's at 87. But it, it gets destroyed 50% faster, maybe? So it might only have like another 40 swings in it. I'm not really sure. I'm going to put the demon's coat. Where am I? It looks like the Spirit Robe is actually better than the Demon's Coat, but the Demon's Coat has 200% um, durability. So let's go ahead and take that, put it in the vault. I need to get one more thing out of the vault here. I'm going to take out the Angry Sword. Let's save that. Hero's Points. Total of 108. New record for the Pirate. GG no Re. Let's, um, I kind of want to post it to Twitter, but I don't even know my Twitter password and stuff is anymore. What kind of perk can we unlock? We could unlock the swimmer's perk. We could unlock the bare fist perk or the pet partner perk. We can't get that one. That one's too expensive. And as for the classes, we could unlock the force user perk or the bard perk. I don't know if I want either of those. I kind of just want to get more dimensional slots. There's six dimensional slots. Seven dimensional slots. There we go. Now let's go back to the dimensional vault. Now that I have the extra slots, do I wanna I wanna keep the spear? Do I wanna keep I'm gonna keep the the weapon too, because it's it's pretty good. And I wanna put the key the seal key in there. Perfect. Oh, it's a little different this time. Defeated Demon Lord with Pirates. Congratulations. So I played this game for a total of 2 hours and 50 minutes. That was amazing. That was a great run. That was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys had a good time too.